How much money did you use to start your business? How much money did you invest in starting up your business? Just curious. Vastly depends on the type of business you want to start. I run a web design business and just needed $200 for the hosting account. Enough that I maxed out my credit cards. Why does it matter how much someone else put into their business? Some people put in zero, some people put in millions or somewhere in Are between. Are you asking because you're scared to put money into one of your own ideas? Learn to ask better questions. Yeah, I have an idea I want to start and my heart says put in the money my head says what if? What if it goes wrong all that money wasted? So yeah just looking to see how it worked out for you guys and how much you put in. Can't really know the answer until you go dot with a proper plan of yeah. course. My business idea is a local business magazine. I can advertise three times as cheap as competition. I'm thinking of offering it for free for the first month to attract the businesses and hopefully keep hold of them. I was reading an article that investing money and giving something for free can have positive impacts on a business. Zero dollars for my copywriting business. Somewhere between $7k $8k so far for my pre-launch candle biz. What if you never do anything and die a broke dreamer full of regrets? I'd rather waste my money finding out for sure than waste my time wondering what if. That's exactly what I was just thinking. Rather risk it all, than play it safe. Just gotta get rid of the annoying what if I'm the back of my mind. You can always get more so money. Far, in my current venture, I've spent about $550 on samples, different types of cloth and materials, and purchasing my competitors' products to see what I need to do better. Give it a Would shot. Would you rather have 100% chance of making $400 per week at a JOB $10 or hour at 40 hours or a tilde 10% chance of making enough money following that will forever change your life? Not to mention you could have a job while pursuing business plus, if you happen to fail, with odds that get better as you continue to pursue business with very little downside for at least trying. Go for it man. Never give up. I'd rather die trying to fulfill my dreams than live as a wage slave for the rest of my Please life. Please tell us how you spent 8k on a candle business. I put in as much money as I could, without putting my family in jeopardy. When you start a business the amount of money you should invest is a dollar amount that is very uncomfortable, but not too much that you'll be destitute on the streets if you, you lose You should it. look into Felix Dennis. He's the founder of Maxim made a few hundred mil as a broke dropout and wrote a book on it, awesome read. Anyone remember this commercial by Insider Membership? Find out for yourself. $6,000 for the first production run. I've always bootstrapped each business but startup costs have been around $200 on the low end to $30,000 on the high end with most in between. Current one will only be around 3 4k. Can you make the model work if you make it free all if the time? If you can print enough of them and get them circulated to a large enough audience then you may be able to profit from the advertising revenue alone. Then the job would not be about selling subscriptions but selling advertising space. Believe dots. it or not, I spent nothing and quite literally made money from nothing. I don't know whether you'd class it as a business or just an idea to make money which fast forward two years later became one of my top sources of income. I happened to come across software being sold on an online marketplace and just reviewing the sheer amount of sales for that one day, it got me hooked. Because I'm a software developer, I think software can change the world, so I'm pretty addicted to creating distributing and selling software. Nevertheless, so I, I created in. my advertisement, used my web design skills to make it look professional and fancy and clicked post. I made sure there was a large enough profit margin for me to make it worth I'll my while. Now, I did initially start selling at a very premium price, however, they slowly sold and once they did, I simply used around 60% of the sale price for the item and the 40% I kept for myself. I rinsed and repeated this method until I found a more genuine supplier and about 5x Used cheaper. an automated bot that I built myself to deal with orders and I myself just kept refilling it with stock and that sums it up. It really is that easy to replace your 9 to 5, you just have to figure out what that one thing is, that one thing that can take so long to find but it'll be worth it. Trust the process. 4.5k euros for importing products to Amazon. I'm currently renting out my two spare rooms in my house to get more capital renting out rooms I sent as bad as I thought. 
Yes, I have less privacy, but if you take the time to look for nice people, you can have some good company and some extra pocket money to invest. I could earn even more if I move to the small room and rent out my room. About 8k so far, and we'll need perhaps another 12k to cross the T's and dot the I's before I launch. I would definitely not recommend maxing out your credit cards. My first failed business I did it and it's a painful reminder every month. Just I wondering, did you felt kinda surprised when you realized that a candle biz can cost $7.8k to start and I assume the costs are still going up? Thanks noob noob. This guy gets it. No because it. it doesn't cost that much to start a candle biz. Literally anyone can start one for like $100. The expenses are for things that mostly have nothing to do with candles and everything to do with setting my business apart. Depends. I'm in software and it was approximately $1,000 with the various incorporation costs, licenses, etc. You don't really need to invest anything at all in some cases. I bought out a failing business in my industry for $62,000 and invested an additional $20,000 into it. I wanted to start with something rather than nothing, but I also was sitting on Put some cash. Out. At the end of the day, Anyone who can shower and owns at least one clean outfit without holes can get a job in this economy. Just go down to the liberal part of your city and look around. That's what you'd be competing with in the job market. I've spent near $1,000 funding my education that I will need now and later for a business. When I do start a product-based business I am planning on starting with at least $10,000. My first business I started for $100. The cost was for the domain, hosting and SSL license. My current business I started with $2,000. That was the cost of the first production order. 4K Euro. Business flopped, so I sold it for 2K Euro. This is a great way of looking at things. The regret of not trying is greater than the regret of failing, and you only fail if you quit. My businesses have been anywhere from $250 to $3 million. $1,000 Christmas bonus, $50 to register. Been investing $515k cash back into the business every year to get new equipment, experiments to grow I would have slowly. Liked to have more money up front of course, because it would have been a quicker growth but it worked out anyway. Video production. More importantly, actually had a business plan. 33k I think. Somewhere around there in 2006. Rebiz. Although in reality I was just buying a house to live in. It had three apartments and this was the only way I could see to afford to live close to NYC and not pay a fortune. But as the years went by it turned into a biz. Edit. good question by the way. It wasn't my first I biz. sold dictionaries door to door for a company when I was 17. They ripped me off on my fist payday so I found a supplier and copycatted them. I ran out of steam. That was probably $200 worth of books. At 23 had a clothing store started with 5k of open. Ran out of steam again. 22 years later after working for others I realized that once in a while I need to sit down and refocus. My first real business I started literally with one pack of rubber bands. I lacked confidence in myself so I did it the slow way. I went all in on my I have built up way more confidence in my ability to succeed primarily from the fine folks here on the forum. Hey man, so you're planning to get into a business just because you can be the cheapest option? Have you studied the market a little bit and know if you can scale it properly or just want to see if this product idea has legs? Now, as a way of training yourself and get your feet wet I'd say give it a go, but if you're planning to grow a serious business from it I think you should be more careful. The same as some of the other guys that replied I've invested from nothing to several tens of thousands of dollars. But that figure is not that relevant. Just make sure you don't break the bank when testing this idea. Good luck, but doesn't don't matter. more than you can afford. Dot for some people that is two hundred dollars, for other it is tens of thousands or more. Dot bite the bullet, try it and correct fast. You won't get it right first time, and you won't get it right by trying to second guess Zero everything. Zero euros of my own actual money to get started. Plenty of unpaid time though. Dot clients paid and still pay me to provide a service. They've also paid to build my team, processes, and technology. About 350. JK, more like $6,000 which was all my savings at the time in 2016. But my waiter job covered rent so I wasn't too worried. Now I'm starting to spend around $80,000 every 3 to 4 months or so for inventory. Started it with literally $50 $100. 
I think my first order was for five items or something like that lol. Starting is often cheap. It is growing the business that can get real expensive. Bump it up. I'm also curious. Cost me 1k to start my online business which I sold 5 years later for over a million bucks. What's that ROI of 100,000% plus dot best investment I've ever made was in backing myself. Go out and grab your dreams by the balls and enjoy the ride. About 900 bucks dot holy shit, is your story here? Congrats man. So much better than sitting around waiting for 8% in the stock market eh?